On a winter night in Orlando, he called his shot. Yeah, Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for. That was the transformative moment for Nathan Diaz, a highly visible figure who'd always been a touch misunderstood. The raw and uncompromising fighter who was incapable of being anything but real. It was that moment he was truly crystallized as a star, but really the cult of Nate Diaz had long been in effect. Anyone who'd watched him over the years already knew the truth. He'd put in the work. He pried open the fight game's imagination because of who he is. He's about the we and not the me, the collective. His loyalty to Caesar Gracie has been legendary. Caesar Gracie, fight team all the way. Gracie Jiu Jitsu, Stocky, California, baby, you already know what's up. Same with the love he has for his brother, Nick. There's always a sense Nate viewed himself as Nick's younger brother. It's Nick Diaz Army, And it didn't bother him at all. He's always treated it like the badge of honor that it is and the greatest gift he'd ever known. The mixed martial arts master, Nick Diaz, no one could top this man right here. But as we came to understand him, every detail of his life began to add up to something special. Someone who could captivate the masses like he did when he arrived on the scene during the Ultimate Fighter Five. By the time he'd won it, you knew Nate was his own man. Through it all, he's never wanted to escape the shadow of Nick. Instead, wanting that shadow to loom like a caution. That all the mean mugging was an extension of the bloodline itself. That the 209 wasn't just a number. Stockton, California wasn't just a place on the map. That jujitsu was life. Over the years, he's done the impossible. Nate Diaz has done it! He's become the essence of what it means to be a fighter. He's earned the respect of millions, leaving his mark on some of us forever. John Ennick better get a 209 tattoo. I'm gonna whoop his little ass. He's let the world know that fighting is an attitude. Double fingers and a fully locked and dropped. It is all over! That you should push back whenever possible. He's won big fights. Man! Combination by Nate Diaz! He's had crazy years and been through trying times, yet he's never anything other than who he is. My whole team will beat your whole team's ass. How about that? That's what made his rivalry with Conor McGregor so enormous. That's it! He's got the chance! Nate Diaz! He tapped! He he has has done it! He tapped! His insubordination to everything as it was. He called his shot and backed it up. Hey, I'm not surprised. McGregor helped bring Nathan Diaz into focus, but he'd been there the entire time. And even when the series was knotted up in the historic record-breaking rematch, he came back in style. His fight with Anthony Pettis after three years away was as the return of a hero. When he won, he kept it real again. Jorge Masvidal had a good last fight. So I know my man's a gangster, but he ain't no West Coast gangster. So real that what he had in mind materialized in the biggest way possible. Madison Square Garden fighting for the BMF title. He hasn't just pried open the fight game's imagination by calling his shots. At some point, he became the fight game's imagination. The great orchestrator of his own destiny, the heart of the 209, and the defiance to be who he's always been, which is the realest of the real.